Hello again with uh, another green drake fly. This is uh, one more emerging mayfly, and it is representing the European mayflies, Ephemera danica or Ephemera vulgata, the European green drakes. But it can be uh, as well the Eastern green drake. However, this fly is based on a Mike Mercer's Poxibeck hex emerger. I change it the size. I I make making this uh, smaller. I change the colors and some materials. I made it more buoyant, and uh, it's uh, my version of uh, Imagine, or maybe better say, Gripper version of uh, basically Ephemera danica for some more turbulent waters. Because it's uh, floating, even if it's not floating, uh, due, uh, thanks to thanks to these uh, form parts, and it's a pretty big fly. It's almost four centimeters, three and a half, four, uh, with a nymph length about twenty twenty five millimeters. Why I say uh, it's more a creeper pattern is because the Danica emerging from nymph hanging in the surface film uh, very very quickly it, it can take like three to five seconds and the done is done uh, the adult stage so this is more like some crippled uh, one which stuck uh, halfly emerged in a nympho shark i will go now for a white shark I'm trying different colors here, but I will go for light cream or, or almost white uh, shark. Uh, it can be longer, of course, but uh, the fly is already big enough. So let's go for fly. I will show you in water how, how it's floating. Nicely, I had to elaborate with, the, with these farms to make the nice... Uh, fly sitting nicely in a, in a surface film and I think uh, I made it so let's go for fly the hook is TMCO can be 200R this is TMCO 2312 and it can be another carved, carved hook um thread dynamo and for for this fly i recommend you some again some strong strong thread which will be able to pr compress uh, these fun parts and the uh, hair as well and tie in the thread i will cover the hook shank i'm going all the way back And as I said, for the tail for Shark, I, I'm, I will use this is a arrow driving from Tumco. Some really light cream color, but you can use uh, Zilon or or uh, or just some Antroni arm what you have. So I will take piece of this, and this time I will not color in it with a with a marker. I will. keep it in this color and we can make it longer I trim it trim it later of course and cover this a bit secure and trim okay, it is a bit complicated fly but I really like the way it's looking in the water So, I sometimes make one or two of these flies. Now, for the abdomen, I'm going uh, to use uh, biots, darky biots. This says olive, but it is almost like yellow. 
don't know if you can see the right colors, but uh, it's almost yellow, it's a pale olive, definitely. So take one of these bouts and tie this in. And I will slightly thicken the body, but keep in mind that these nails are very slender and most of the patterns make them too much, too much bacon fat, I mean, in body. And I will just take uh, some dabbing, this is fly right, poly, extra fine poly, it really doesn't matter, you can use a thread. And um, we'll make a bit thicker, slightly tip, uh, slightly conic. On the body. Okay, this will be fine. We'll just secure this and I will add a drop of varnish just on top to help to secure the biot. With my echo plier, I will start to wrap in this. And it's making beautiful segmented body. Just cover a little piece of the previous wrap, just, uh, just the edge. Use wall biot. Secure this in here. We'll cover the rest of the hook already. Secure and I will tie here just two small CDC ferrets for the gill representation. It's not really necessary, the detail and uh, the fly is already complicated, so you can skip this if you don't want. I will just tie here just a tip of small feather here and on the other side the same. Not a big deal. Secure trim. And now the hook is heavy, so we really need a buoyant, something buoyant. And I, I ended with a, with a form, actually a lot of form. For back, I'm using black. I been using uh, brown, but a lot of this this uh, Danica emerges. It's almost black from top, and what's more, the fish see the fly from from below. So it's not uh, again not that big deal. And so this is about three millimeter. Take farm, I believe, and uh, cut like maybe four millimeter wide strip. We'll just trim this end and tie this in here. Let it like 
maybe I'm sure four millimeters may be long and yeah and, and sorry I will add a, just a bit of supra glue under the forearm here and tie um, secure it well with strong trail wraps this is fine and uh, I will secure it a bit more and now take it back we will use this for the thorax back So just like this. And uh, I will tie in a piece of tying thread, a green one or somebody thread, use what you have. Because uh, I want this segmentation down there. It's not necessary again, I just want to break this, this plain area. Uh, so I had a piece of tying thread or if. Now the thorax, thorax itself is also made uh, from from foam, and I'm using really thin foam. It's one millimeter. This light light green uh, foam, and it is um, Jason Sweden set of foams. These are great. These are, there are great colors and several thickness, or maybe two thickness, but a lot of colors. And this is in. A, I have this. This is a Kedis selection. Is there? I have a Mayfly selection. This color is also in this one, and I have. I believe it's a general, and there is as well. So I have a lot of this color actually. So it's in every every selection, and uh, I just cut strip again about maybe four millimeters wide, and I will tie this in. Somewhere here, secure. And I tie in here these legs as well. Again, not necessary this representing the legs of the the nymph. And I'm because they are almost white or they are really light in color, at least on Danica. So I'm using a partridge feather from neck. And make sure you choose you can use some another small feather. But make sure it is small enough so the these legs will not to be too long. Right, some small one. It is. I remove the fuss. And this is enough, and it's not a lot of legs, and I just I will just rise these barbs so I can tie it in in reverse position and just secure it here Okay, I'll just shift this. Yes. And uh, secure it more. And take the, the light forearm and make the, the thorax volume 
don't stretch too much the farm so it will still be a, a big amount of, of air and it will have to fly through float in Okay, that's it. Fine. Secure. Strong. And trim the rest here. Cover this. And we can already bend this feather, these legs, and tie them down. Now we have these legs. If legs cover, trim, and uh, now we will add uh, this piece of farm here. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but also it helps. Uh, I try to make this really buoyant fly for turbo and water for some clear slower water I have another so I will add it and it's the same color just the other thickness the it's maybe two millimeters two to three strip the same about the also about the four millimeters maybe and first I will make the, the, the thread base here and I will put the super glue on it and tie this in um, Similar length like the, the back piece, maybe four millimeters. Secure it well. So it's good to have strong thread, like Dynama or Nanocell, something like this. Vivas GSP, which is Dynama. Trim our cover and you can already made made the, the back uh, don't stretch it so it will stay high, high and there will be enough air again so just secure it Trim and cover secure well. You can add a super glue here as well, not necessary. And uh, yeah, well, okay, once more, I forgot. The rib, the rib. Sorry for this. I hope I will be able to bend it back. I have the, the thread here. And I will just make, try not to tie down these legs and I will make like Just maybe two segments, maybe three. Just as I said, break this plane area. Ok, 
Okay, secure. Now they do. Back, back. Strong trail reps really be higher on the thread. Okay, and make sure you have enough space here for for the wink, the rear hair wink, and some hackles. Now for the hair wink, I'm using this green, and sometimes I, I also use a yellow. Non breach it, just dyed yellow, which uh, is almost like pear green, but I still more like this one for this fly. And take a bunch of these, pretty big, like this. Put it into your stacker. Stacker. and even steps. Okay, we'll go with the thread all the way here to front. Take ring. We'll just remove. These short hairs, and maybe this is a bit too much. I will go a bit smaller bunch like this. And the land will be like the half of the fly, something like this. Now make one loose and then second and tighten and secure this really well here. Try to keep this on top because this represents the, the done imagine halfway emerged and Trim all these Okay, uh, I was cover this all secure well. So it will stay there. Okay, for heckle using badger, which I like. Of course, uh, they have dark thorax and uh, and a uh, pretty pretty light uh, legs. So, and I'm not going crazy about this. Just few reps. Take a plier. And. Make a few turns. How much I do know? It's a second one. Three. A four. It's fine. I will secure this and I will here secure the heckle with my thread.
I'll trim this tape of, of echo. And now reverse the fly and finish it somehow here. It's it's not the easiest part. I will do just half H around the hook eye and I will add a drop of super glue. Don't tie down these echoes. One, two, and maybe one more. Okay. And the sprue. On a needle and a little drop. And that's it. So that's my rebuilded Mike Mercer's hex poxy bag uh, emerger. I call this cripple because the only cash really quick on emerging. I don't know how the hexagenia probably will take longer. I will slightly trim this. Then for shark. Okay, I don't want to waste your time here, so that's Adonica Cripple. I will show you how this is floating in water that's it that's all I will tie probably one more or two more emergers because this is a really important stage in Danica hedge then I will shift to to a done stage and uh, and spin a suspense but I mainly focus on on a uh, this imagine, imagine and, and crippled uh, mayflies as as the trouts usually do as well. Uh, it, this will probably outfish almost every time nymph and uh, and the and the dun as well. They will raise in better for some subsurface green drake. So yep, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching and bye.